Hello, Kim and I have to you, Sandy Gale here, and welcome to another Blender Guide tutorial. And today we're going to be making Magnemite from Pokemon. So, this is what we're going to be making, and we're going to be using something called PBR Shaders, which I'll leave in the description below. So let's get straight into it. So, before we start, just right click on the cube and delete on file, come down to user. Preferences. In the user preferences, on the add ons, go to the search bar, type in bold, B O L T, and you should see add mesh bold factory. Click here and save user preferences. Now we're going to be using a reference image because this is a to do beginner's guide. To make the magnet part. So press N to bring up this tab, let me just stop screen test keys. Select background images, add image, open and go wherever you save this image. I'll leave this image in the description below. N to get rid of the panel, 7 on the numpad and 5 to go to orthographic view. Press Shift A Mesh Plane. G to grab and move it over this blue section. S to scale. Now just G to grab and make sure the bottom line of the plane matches up with the bottom line of the magnet. Tab into edit mode. A to deselect everything. Right click on this vertice and move it to the edge of the magnet. Right click this one and do the same. Right click on this one and move it to the other side. Right click here, move it to the other side. Now shift right click and make sure the top vertice line is selected. E to extrude on the y axis, move it up slightly. Keep it in place. E and Y. Now this one, you want the left vertice to match up with this blue line. This one, this vertice doesn't matter. It's just this one. Now you just follow the magnet. E to extrude on the Y, and just every so often, just click to accept it and. Keep doing E to extrude on the Y, following the curve. E Y, move in. E Y. Now R to rotate, and just basically follow the groove. R to rotate. E. R. E. R E E R Now we just want to model half of this So when, once you get to this green line You want to have This vertice to be as straight as possible so R to rotate And keep moving it Tell you're happy that this line is completely straight. Now, tab it out of edit mode, come down to the bottom where it says Object, Transform, Georgian, uh, Geometry to Origin. No, it's not under, my bad. Transform, Origin. To geometry. No, it's origin to 3D cursor, sorry. My bad. So you want that the pivot point to be in the center. Now tab back into edit mode and make sure everything's selected. Come to the modifiers tab which is this spanner part here. And modifier mirror. Now, as you see, these two are not actually connected. 
So right click on this vertice and this vertice. And as you see, if you move them, they just go through each other. To prevent this, come over to the side where it says clipping. Check that. Then just push these two vertices together. Tab out of edit mode and apply. So make sure everything is selected again. E to extrude, move it up till you're happy with the size. Now, with everything selected again, by pressing A, Control 4 to add a subdivision surface to the view of 4. Change the render to 4 to. Now, Control R, right click with the vertice and move it across. Control R, and do this into the other side. Control R, make sure the line's going along the way. Move up, Control R, and move down. And then we, there we have it. We now have a magnet. We are not going to add any textures just yet. So for now, press M to move and move it to layer 2. Now, let's make the bolt. Make the bolt. What we want to do is press Shift A, Mesh, come down where it says Bolt. Now we have it. Now, on the left hand side, you should see the section that says Add Bolt. Now, change the bit type. From none to Phillips, change the bit depth to somewhere of 1.80. The bit diameter, increase that till 3.83. The head, decrease that to 1.46. And then flat it, the head diameter. Decrease that slightly to 5.44. Scroll down where you say, until it says thread. Change the length up to 7.53. And that's us finished with the bolts. Just click on this blue arrow and move it up. Now press Shift A, Mesh, Add. UV sphere. S to scale. R to rotate on the x axis by 90 degrees. Tab into edit mode. Right click the center point here and press Ctrl plus once, twice, three, four, five. So you want up to this ring here selected. E to extrude on the Y axis and move it in slightly. You want the same as mine on the Y axis, you see at the bottom it says 0 0.0538 and click to enter. Now right click the same point again and press Ctrl plus E to extrude on the Y axis. And make push that in till about there, which you see is 0 0.3265. And with everything selected, press Ctrl 4. Change the render to 4 to. And to get rid of these parts in here, Ctrl R for the little cut. Move it until you see this purple line all the way around and just push it down. Now Control R on this side, click and push that in. Now you should have something that looks like this. Now what we want to do is make sure everything's selected. 
add materials, go up to the top where it says blender render, change this to cycles render. Press new and change this to head. With everything we using this shader now, which we don't want. So, first of all, we want to right click, shift, or alt right click this entire circle and press control plus one, two, three. It'll come to the outside and alt shift right click this line. Get rid of it, then move up one and do the same. So we just got this part selected. Now come over to where it says the you'll see the plus button, click that, add new, change this to I, and press assign. Right click in the center for right here and press control plus once, twice, three times. Add, a, add another texture by hitting the plus button again. No, change this to pupil and press assign. So each one of these has got its own texture. What we want to do now is shift Z. As you see, this is what we have in render view. Starting with the pupil. Press U to unwrap, come over the three little lines and open this section up, come down to the bottom, change this to Node Editor. Right click on the views and delete. So you see there's a big gap in the centre now. Yeah, we want to use PPR shaders for this, so you come up to the file section, Make sure you're not in edit mode, file and append. Now go to wherever you said this, I'll leave it in the description below, and it should be called pack PBR shaders. For here, come down to node 3 and find the one that says PBR metallic in a pen from library. Back into edit mode. Shift A, come down where it says group, and you should see your group of metallic there. Now add the BSDF to the material output surface. Change the roughness up to 0 0.2. Change the colour down to a hex value of 64, 64, 64. And that's our stone for the people. Next, come over to the side where it says I. Right click on the views and delete. Shift A, group, metallic again, connect the green slot to the green slot. The colour is going to be white. So we'll change everything to 1, change the rim colour to a hex value of EACCDB, change the roughness up to 0 0.291. Now come over to the side where it says head. Do the same, delete diffuse, shift A, group, alec, green to green, and the colour, you just move this arrow down, and you want to be exactly the same, it's A5, A5, A5. And for the rim, just turn it all up to 1. The roughness will be changed to 0 0.173. And there we have it. Time to edit mode. 
one on the numpad and this magnet we can just move it down straight into the head like so now we shift well come over to the side here click this button here and select head so now the bolt is using the exact same material as the head just come up with a bit of colour and you see it's the exact same if you want to change the colour of it without changing the head press the, this plus button now just call whatever you want bolt now you can change the colour of the bolt to be a bit brighter in the head without affecting it now we want three of these so shift D move it down the Z axis and rotate on the X and put this into place to where you want it for me it will be rotate on the Z around here now shift D on the X and just R to rotate on the Z because it's the opposite way and put this in place to where you want it there we go now come over to layer 2 right clicking magnet and move to layer 1 Go back to layer 1. Now, with the magnet selected, R to rotate on the X by 90. R to rotate on the Y by 90. G, X to move it along. And S to scale and move it straight. 1 on the numpad. Now, we want to make the magnet a bit longer so that S, X and move it till you're happy with it for me I'm going to hit S, Y and make the magnet a bit thicker and there we have it now tab into edit mode with this one let's so make sure everything's selected add a new texture and call this base Delete the fuse, shift A, group, metallic, do the same again, just connect it. So now this is using this one, change the roughness up to 0 0.236, change the colour to a greyish, which will be a hex value of D7. D7, D7. Change the round lighting to white. Increase the round lighting to 1. Now, well selected, go to the bottom and select face select. A to deselect everything. Z to go to wireframe. B for box select and select the first three boxes here. Faces here. It should be selected all the way around. Come to the side where the plus button is, click that, press no, and change this to blue and assign. So delete the fuse, shift A, and add metallic texture again. Change the colour to a blue colour of your liking. For me, it's a hex value of 5158E7. Change the round colour to white. And change the roughness to 0 0.109 and the round colour to 1.
do the same for the other side. A to D select everything, Z for Y frame, D for box select, and select the first three faces on all sides. Press the plus button again, and no, change the name to red. Let assign. Right click to delete, shift A, group, italic. And connect this up. Now change the colour to a red colour of your liking. For me, it is a hex value of E7-3737. Change the run lighting to white. And change the roughness up to 0 0.118 for the run lighting of 1. Now tab it in the error mode, click 1 on the numpad, shift D and move it along the X axis, then R to rotate, on the Z, be 180 degrees. And there we have it. We have magnemite. Now, what we want to do is just select everything and move up. Before we continue, just go to File, Save As, and Save It. So nothing goes wrong. Shift A, Mesh, Plane, S to Scale, and just scale it up. So tell you half of it. Press 0 to go to the camera view. It's N on your keyboard and select Lock Camera to View. And with the middle mouse button, you just move it, the camera, till you're happy. To get rid of the back of the image, just press N on the keyboard, scroll down to where you add images and delete. You no longer need them. Press 0 again to exit camera view. One on the numpad and move this lighting to the left and down. Okay, shift A, mesh, plane. Rotate on the X by 90 degrees, S to scale, and move it out and up. Add a new material, which is diffuse, change this to emission, and set the strength to 3. And there you have it, folks. That is one magnemite. 3D model. To render it, come to where the camera is. What I used, I changed the sampling to 400. And this is where you want to save it, what direction ray. That's the format, which you can have different formats. And once you're happy with it, select render. I hope. You enjoyed today's video and if you like, you like to show me your version of Magnemite, feel free to send me on Twitter which is at andygallagher96 will be in the description below. But until next time, have a good night and hawking mach.